Three Conservative MPs have shared a video which purported to show that Labour leader Keir Starmer had been dismissive of the victims of child sexual exploitation when he was Director of Public Prosecutions. So the MPs in question were um, Lucy Allen. So she's quote tweeting this tweet from N. James World. We'll look at the original tweet in a moment. She says, this suggests a total failure to understand grooming, a dismissive attitude toward child sexual exploitation victims, and a belief that the victims brought it on themselves. So quote tweeting the same tweet, M Maria Caulfield MP wrote, the true face of Labour leader, hashtag shameful. And Nadine Doris, who is a shadow health minister, quote tweeted the video saying, revealing. Now, at least those those first two tweets, it seems like this is something very serious. Um, obviously, if he had been dismissive of victims of child sexual exploitation, that would be you know appalling. Um, let's look at the tweet they were sharing. Um, so this is the video that all three of these Tory MPs shared. Were made uh, included the assumption that a victim of child sexual abuse will swiftly report what's happened to them to the police, will be able to give a coherent and consistent account first time that they will not themselves have engaged in any offending or other behaviour um, and that they will not have misused drugs or alcohol um, at any stage. So that video is presented as saying this is why or this is how Keir Starmer approached child sexual exploitation. So it's, it's saying Keir Starmer would only accept a witness to child sexual abuse if they had swiftly reported the abuse, had given a consistent account from the first report, had not themselves broken the law or used drugs and alcohol. Now, that would be pretty shocking. And also, that is how the state has functioned. And it is incredibly shocking. But that video of Keir Starmer is completely misleading. And also, obviously, so I don't think the MPs really can claim ignorance in, in this moment. But let's look at the full clip now. Just how much of an acknowledgement is this that, that um, the methods you've been using up until now, albeit everyone's been working very hard, but the methods you've been using up until now just have been um, really in the wrong mindset and so misguided? These guidelines are a recognition that the approach that's been taken in the past was the wrong approach. It was based on a number of assumptions. Uh, which don't withstand scrutiny. Um, the guidelines change that um, and they require the police and prosecutors to focus uh, intensely on the allegation actually being made um, and not so much on the weaknesses or vulnerabilities that are invariably there in some of the victims that come forward. Um, could you just expand a little on, on what you mean by the kind of things that were going wrong? Just give us some, some kind of obvious examples of, of how um, the, gui the previous guidelines weren't really up to standard. The assumptions that were made uh, included the assumption that a victim of child sexual abuse will swiftly report what's happened to them to the police, will be able to give a coherent and consistent account first time, that they will not themselves have engaged in any offending or other behaviour, um, and that they will not have misused drugs or alcohol um, at any stage. Those assumptions uh, do not withstand scrutiny. They've got to change. The guidelines make that clear. And so this is a clear break with the past. So, I mean, it, it couldn't be clearer. Keir Starmer was saying, this is how it used to work, and this is precisely why we're changing our guidelines. And what these Tory MPs have shared is the bit where he says this is how it used to work. And they're saying that's his justification for how he was operating in the CPS. So it's, it's, it's a complete reversal of what actually happened. And I mean, this Nadine Doris, at least, she, she's a government minister. She's a health minister. She should have very important things to do at the moment without sharing nonsense fake news about the leader of the opposition. Well, she should. But would you trust Nadine Doris with very important things to do? That's true. God, that's terrifying, isn't it, actually, that she is a health minister? I often think of her just as a sort of joke 